So the next thing I want to talk about is uh, rush lighting. Okay. And somehow I've acquired four of these, but they're quite cool. <laughs> um, they have, they stand on, usually they have like three little feet. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like a wrought iron. Mm -hmm. And they all seem to have a place for a candle. And then this little piece that opens up and they will put a piece of rush okay. that has been, um, I guess what they would do is they would, um, I guess a rush, it's meaty, meaty, really meaty inside. So they would break the outside of the rush reed to get to the meatier part and then like meaty, like M-E-A-T-I-E, mm -hmm. meatier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then they would soak it in oil. Okay. And then they would, it, they said it would be about 20 inches long. And then they would light it, and it would last maybe an hour. Oh, huh. An hour. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> so That's a lot of work for a little light. But they light. said if, if they were really frugal, I don't know how you could be frugal. If it's going to burn, it's just going to burn. Right. They could get them to last longer. So I'm not really sure. But they said basically several different places that I read said, an hour one even said a half so an hour. what is the point of having a rush light attached to your candle is it just I, you're I, doubling your light i guess so huh. i guess so you know and so i guess it would burn one i i guess it would be extra light right that, that would be my guess that would, and you'll see here's another one and it's got these nice feet oh yeah and again it has a candle a place for a candle right which i found interesting with the burning um uh, piece of reed because yeah. I never really thought about it before, but they all open like a little like a scissor uh -huh. and um, and they just Huh, so you can imagine all the all the smoke. Oh boy. Yeah <laughs> And then this one is another one a very delicate one mm -hmm. With cute little twisted feet. Oh, yeah. and it's got this twisted, you know a little bit of decoration What is this called again? It's called a rush, a rush light. A rush light, okay. And then the, the rush yeah. would go in there. Yeah. And, you know, I never really thought about them having a candle, but they all do. Interesting. They have a candle attack. Now, this one, I don't know if it was a make-do, because normally they're on these little feet. And this looks just like a piece of really old wood. Wow. I mean, that's old. Yeah. And it's, see how it's cracked? Yeah. And you know how thrifty they were. If something broke, sure. they didn't throw it out. They right. repaired it. And, and that's one of the things I love the make dos yeah. because it's like, well, they either loved it so much or they needed it so much. Right. So they would repair it. So I, I don't know that that was original. I'm guessing not. But again, see the little. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. Yep. But they're just so cool, and they're so so. Again, you could carry these around, and they're a little bit. Um, they're bigger. They're probably way better than this option. Mm -hmm. You could pick them up, put them on a table. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, um, when I'm doing displays, I might. You know how I love to set up little displays of like people live in that room, and <laughs> so I'll put that on. Oh, they were reading. It's and a dollhouse. They, need a, yeah, they needed to have some light. <laughs> make up my little story. <laughs> so let me see. Uh, this is what uh, I love about you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let me tell you this little fact because I'm okay. like, oh my. Okay. Say so they would only last half an hour to an hour. Right. And it says a pound of rushes could make about 1,600 individual reed lights, which is about 800 hours of light or 33 days. Wow. 1,600 reeds. Ooh, that's a lot of So reeds. in addition to keeping the fire going right. and cooking yep. and getting your meal, yep. now you have to make your lighting as well. Wow. I know, huh? I can't imagine. I know. Um, so that's those. So so now we've started with the cruisies and the Betty uh, lamps to rush lighting. Now I do want to talk about candlesticks, and I know a lot of you've been waiting to see my fabulous <laughs> candlesticks, <laughs> and here they are. Oh, so I these, I I had done. I was doing some research on them, and then I saw them, and I go, I'll never ever see them. Right. 
uh, what are the chances that I'm ever going to see one? But I did. Yeah. And so, of course, I had to jump right in there and get it. Right. So these are probably uh, from the 1600s. They wow. could be Spanish or Portuguese. Oh. Now, an interesting thing, they kept calling them capstan, C-A-P-S-T-A-N. Okay. But what does that mean? Right. So, I, you know, right. I had to Google it. Right. So capstan refers to this. Huh. And it comes from, uh, I think it's a Spanish or Portuguese word meaning a pulley. And when you look at it, Looks it like kind of does look like a pulley. Yep. yep. I love the meaning behind it. Right. So, and these are very small ones, came from a, a reputable dealer. Um, so I felt very comfortable with her telling me what they were. Right. And um, I just went, and they're little. I think they're. Uh, Maybe yeah. six inches? Yeah. Maybe seven? Yeah. They have a little miniature candle, and you can see the pewter. Oh, yeah. Wow. And now look at this. If you take this out, which this is this amazed me, you can see right through it. See That's the hole? That's crazy. Oh, I've never sure seen enough. that. Huh. Interesting. And so I go, oh, is that is are they really supposed to be like that? So then I would be like searching ones. Yeah. And they're, I've never seen that, that before. That is really interesting. So I was like, wow, you huh. just learned so many things. But these are like my special treasure. Oh. And I know a lot of you have been waiting to see them. Yes. They're yes. awesome. They're so awesome. So then we kind of go into different sort of candle sticks, of which there are many. So, you know, they made them out of pewter, tin, um, Brass ones were more ornate, and so I think people who had a little bit more wealth would get the brass ones. The brass could be more intricate, and again, with the brass color and all the facets in them, I think they would just sparkle. And they would throw off more light, right. and it was, it was always about getting more light, yeah. more light. So I'm going to show you a couple of, um, these are just pewter, um, and this one, uh, this is how instead of like a push up, sure. this would turn and then it would, your candle push would up. come up. Sure. So I really don't know the age of this. I don't really care. Uh, you know, what it just right. had a nice look. I liked the nice beading. Mm -hmm. Again, just a simple object mm. with a really pretty uh, form. Mm -hmm. And um, I just think it's a thing of beauty. These I actually did get at the same show before I found my treasure. And they, they're pewter and they're quite heavy. And she does have a note in it and it says 19th century pair of pewter candlesticks. Did you get these at Walker Homestead? I did. Mm -hmm. I did. <laughs> if, if you ever get to go, you yeah. got to go. They have yeah. two shows, spring, fall. Right. Fabulous dealers. You know, uh, there are things that are pricey, but you can get, you can buy things. It's right. not like you can't go and not buy anything. Right. You can. There are some deals. In fact, you know, she I, she did give me a deal on these, and I said, well, you know, it has that kind of a bulbous look that I was looking for mm -hmm. before I saw those. So I said, well, I'm going to um, get these. Right. So I thought those were a little, they almost look like a bell on the bottom to mm -hmm. me, don't they? Mm -hmm. They do. Yeah. So, and then you can have your, you know, I, I like I like the brass. So here's just I don't know how old. I know they have the, the oh, push up. Yeah. So yeah. I think they have age. Um, again, these have a lot of detail in them. Mm. So you can see the facets. Again, you can kind of imagine the the light bouncing off of this. Right. Not only its its color, but um, it's the little beehive and all the facets. Mm -hmm. I um I I have less brass than some of the others. Mm -hmm. But, um, and even if I had a pair, I don't necessarily keep the pair together. Okay. Split them. I can, right. you know, it's not a, and then sometimes, like, I just get random individual ones. Just, mm. I guess it's just because whether they speak to me or not. Mm -hmm. And uh, if they have the nice patina. Now, this one has the push-up. Oh, yeah. Yep. This one doesn't. Oh, so, yeah. was it, did huh. it break? Maybe. 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 Yeah. But I, I, like, I like mixing the brass. You can mix them all together. Okay. It doesn't matter. Right. And you don't have to group them together. Um, so when did they start making candles? Did, were oh, they candles were, I think they made forms of candles way, way back. Okay. You know. Yeah. I think maybe once they got fire and maybe figured out you could make them from animal fat. You know, I, okay. I think it goes way, way, way all right. back. All right. 
I can't, I can't do all the research to the medieval you can't. time. I can't, no. Oh, <laughs> but they go, oh, candles You're came. You're fired. I'm going to get a new one. <laughs> now, this one, now, this is, like, so not like me. This is actually made in India. Oh. But what I did was I was just getting into this bulbous feature. Yes. And I saw it, and I said, you know, it does have a nice look to it. It does. So I, and it, and it wasn't real costly mm -hmm. and um and you know you could put like a little uh candle ring if you yeah. wanted to decorate it up i'm assuming it's obviously for the drippings of the wax sure but again we can add our own uh our own decorative stuff because well, we, we decorate decorations yes and we don't yes. need the light so no, we no. can just do whatever we that's, want that's true <laughs> <laughs> but again it was made in india but i just for the form of it so you don't have to buy you know everything like really old or or even all American. I tend to go American, but if you see a piece that you like, you certainly can blend it and there's nothing wrong sure. with it. You know, sure. just do what you like. Well, when you think about it, a lot of the early Americans, they were out on ships, the yeah. whalers, the captains, yeah. the people that were going back and forth with the, the stuff they'd get yeah. from England and right. they brought China in things and India. And, 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 it, and they were yeah. exotic and people loved them. Exactly. So, yeah. and the thing is, you, you'll see you can combine all these different uh, time periods because they wouldn't just get rid of a candlestick because it wasn't in style anymore. Right, they would right. keep it and then maybe find something that was better, yeah. just like we do today. Although we're more disposable uh, society, we tend to get rid of things, Yeah, but they didn't. So right. you'll see a range of, um, you know, all of this time period, which is really only 16 to 1800. Which is amazing. Which is only a couple hundred it? years. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So I just wanted to jump over to uh, some chamber sticks, um, and they were they were called uh, chamber sticks um, because they would take them and light the way up the stairs for the right. chamber sticks. They usually had these uh, wide uh, bottoms to catch any of the wax, okay. and they have a handle. Mm -hmm. And originally, it would have been like a straight handle. Or just one that came out. So if you mm. see those, those mm. are those are probably earlier. Mm. And then they started with the the loop. Okay. But then this one also has you know one of those things to adjust the right. candle. So right. as it burned down, they could just move it up. Yeah. So that's a brass one. Let me just okay. look on the bottom. I'll pop it on the bottom. And then this one, a lot of my chamber sticks I have no longer, uh, but I I do have a couple. Mm. And so this is another brass one with the. The push-up. Uh-huh. Yep. Still working, which is nice. Mm-hmm. And the little handle and the big drip pan. Mm-hmm. And those are, you know, they needed to light their way up the stairs sure. and probably keep them on their bedside tables. Right. The wedding band hug scraper. Oh, yeah. Which are so fabulous. So, I can't believe I have this many. Right. <laughs> but um, when we talked about them, I don't know, Way, way back, and I sort of just showed the, the collection. I really didn't have as many. Right. Um, but I'll just kind of review the ones that have the um, the nut on the bottom are not the oldest. They're in the middle. Okay. This one, when they have sort of the... Re oh, no, that, that's actually a nut, but it's a different... Let me just see if I have another one. I guess I only have this oh, age. I only have the nuts. Okay. I only have that, and I have one... All right, let's look at it. This is a cleated one. Oh, so that's cleated the oldest. one is the oldest. Okay. Now let me tell you about this cute little little one. Do tell. It it was sold as a, a small one. Uh-huh. But it does have the solder. So I don't really know if they made them this small or whether it's really a make do. Okay. Uh, because did they cut it and resolder it? I don't know. Hmm. But it's really cute, so I really didn't care yeah. about that. But I don't really know if it was a little one. So tell me, Alice, um, people are going to wonder, what is a fair market value if you're going shopping for something like this? Okay. What would be a fair price? So the, the wedding band are harder to find, and they are more expensive. Right. So they're called wedding band hog scraper candlesticks, this obviously being the wedding band, mm -hmm. uh, which... They decorated them with again because of the the brass, the 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 uh, light, 
reflecting on they were always trying to find more light do you think they were also wedding gifts do you think the wedding I, band would have I, been or not necessarily i, I don't think necessarily okay. but who knows right. but i think it was also a way to make them dressier okay and it, obviously brass yeah. being more expensive being shiny okay uh then that would reflect the light yeah um uh, and again you know a lot of them have these little uh i'm going to call it the chair hook I yes. don't know that they would have hung them on chairs because that would have been dangerous. But, <laughs> uh, and then they have these little, you know. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this is miniature. Mm -hmm. So, was this a miniature one? That's what it was sold as. But I don't know because it's soldered. Right. You know, and it could have just been, did one break? Right. But then this is so tiny. Yeah. Maybe. But yeah. I didn't really care. Yeah, yeah. Because I thought it was cute. Um, so... This is a short one. So this is like a normal one, okay? So something like this, no, I don't want this one because this is an add-on. I gotta find you a better one. Okay. Okay, so this, this is a good one. Okay. All right. And that has a pretty shiny um, band on it. It has the push-up. But these are probably, depending on the dealer, in the 300 range. Okay. Three you know, three and up, depending on the dealer. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So How they, about if it's not wedding band and it's just hog scraper? If it's just hog scraper. Now, this is a hog scraper, mm -hmm. just this one. Mm -hmm. And the reason that it's called the hog scraper is because uh, it looked like a hog scraper mm -hmm. that they would use after they slaughtered the pigs to get the bristles off the pig. Right. And so it kind of looked just like this. Right. And they would use it like to do, that's mm -hmm. how they would do it. So that's why they're called hog scraper. Mm -hmm. um, and this one has a beautiful little handle. Oh, the same design. Isn't it beautiful? The Scottish thistle. I don't know, it's so pretty. It's the same thing. You know, was it original? Was it, I, it seems like it would be, sure. because I think if they broke off, yeah. then they just didn't have them anymore. Right. And this again has the nut, a round nut, right. so it's not, um, quite a, quite as old as um, the cleated one. I know there's a cleated one in here, which I'll find it. Mm -hmm. But the cleated ones are the oldest. Okay. And then these are the next. And then if it's just a single round ring, those are the oldest. And those are probably made in America. Oh. And I think it was in the 1850s. Okay. So um, so this is just uh, this is just a regular hog scraper. And all the rest of the up oh, here's an this is also another hog scraper. So regular hog scraper candlestick holder. Oh, okay. So got off on a tangent there. <laughs> um, you know, it depends on where you go. I mean, you know, you could go up to 100, but uh, less than 100 too. All right. Again, depending on the area in the shop yeah. and what's missing. Like this one is actually missing. It's, right. So that should be I less. I bought one like that and I paid 30 Okay, so that's yeah. reasonable. Yeah, that's reasonable. Yep. And again, it has the little, um, mm -hmm. the little chair hook. But again, a lot of times they broke, or sometimes they weren't made with them. So if you mm -hmm. don't have one, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a reproduction. Right. Sometimes if you feel around, you might be able to tell if there was a handle there before that okay. broke off. Right. Um, but like this one. I don't think there ever was one, mm. and that's okay because they didn't always make them that way. Sure. I'm going to try to find that cleated one because now I don't know which one it is. Let's see. Is it this one? No. Is it this one? This is like a guessing game. Well, this <laughs> one's cleated. I know that. The one I just bought. <laughs> which, which one, one? is the ping pong oh, ball? Oh, this one is. That one. So, okay. So this is probably from the 1700s. Oh, Okay. So this one, if I remember it, was about three twenty five. Okay. Three fifty. Yeah. Did I leave the tag on it? No. Oh. I didn't. Again, you can see that it, it's broken off a little bit. Right. But that would happen. Sure. This obviously has has darkened with time and it almost feels like there's wax on oh, it as well. Okay. Um, and it has the now yeah. most of the time they're not marked, but if they are, it would say it right okay. there. Maybe give me that one a minute. Okay. We're gonna show the cleat. Yeah. I might have another one. I, I swear to God. That is the one. cleat. I thought I had another one. Oh, this this is one too. Interesting. Here's the cleat. Oh. With the price. Whoa. Huh? Taking a down. Three ninety five on this. Three ninety five. Oh, see yeah, the tag. The cleat. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Alice paid three ninety five for this one. That's the one that's going in my sweater. <laughs> now this is tin. Okay. Oh, Where these are 
are, I think, rolled steel. Oh. Hmm. Uh, and I don't, again, it, you, you have to get a magnifying glass. If they're not marked, it's not a big deal. But if they are, it's right there. Yeah. Um, again, with a little chair hook. Mm -hmm. um, but I think this was my first uh, wedding band. Okay. And it was from a reputable dealer. And that's why I did leave the tag on, mm -hmm. only so I don't lose the information. Right. He actually probably did give me a deal on it. Yeah. So it probably wasn't three ninety-five, right. but it was probably three fifty. Right. Which is right in the ballpark. Right. And they're just so so my the other ones that I had that weren't yep. uh with the wedding band, somehow I've got rid of them and just only purchased those. Okay. So I got it. This is a funny thing. This isn't even a candlestick. Whoa. This is actually a brand. Oh my a cattle goodness. Cattle brand. Oh wow. Yeah. But you can make it into a candle holder if you wanted to. Wow. So if you see something creative that yeah. you can do that with, sure. You know, it just adds to the. Well, and who knows? They could have done that too. They could have. Yeah. And they might have. They might have. You know? But um, so that's a cattle brand. Okay. So the other thing uh, for lighting are these uh, sconces. Okay. Um, obviously meant to go on the wall with the, um, the glass um, backs, right. which would reflect the light out. Now, I guess uh, I have... Uh, a pair of these on either side of my fireplace. I don't know if they would have hung them there, but they might have it to reflect the light, mm -hmm. um, or maybe across from a fireplace. So mm -hmm. the, the light, you know, again, all about reflecting right. the light. What do you think the date would, the age would be on something like that? I, I'm guessing that all of this is in the 1800s. So I'm, I'm curious about the fatter candle though. Did they make thicker candles? I mean, yeah, you you're right. I, I'm, I don't know. That, hmm. I don't know that question. Oh, I'd love to stump Alice. Hmm. I think these are. I think they're. Oh, well, here's another one. Again, they do have the fat candle. That candles. one has a fat one too. You're right. All right, this one. Huh. Um. And this is the this is the pair that I have. Uh, upstairs on my fireplace. I feel like that's like going to a disco. <laughs> but the glass is I, old, I think. Hmm. I don't know. It's a mystery. It is a mystery. But they did they did have sconces. They could have been plain tin. Yeah. Again, anything like that would automatically reflect off. Right. The glass would automatically reflect reflect right. off. Okay. But maybe this is a little bit later, and so maybe they did make those fat candles. Maybe. I mean, I, I never know. even like thought of that question. Yeah. All right. So let me just look at my notes to make sure that I've got all. We still have. We still have the lanterns. Don't don't worry. We got lanterns still. I now just want to. want to. I want to research fat candles. And are there any fat I candle know. holders? I've never seen any. Makers well, you know what? I guess candles. what I would do is maybe uh, Google antique. Uh, sconces, sconces with glass, and see what's in them. Yeah, you know, that'd be interesting. Because maybe the back's old and the and the front part isn't, but or maybe they're reproductions. Yeah, who knows. Mm -hmm.